Results don't happen by accident. I want to share with you the lessons I have learned and what I have gained from this fitness journey that goes above just the physical transformation aspect. So for, gosh, over a decade, I was suffering from a lot of health problems that were directly related to being overweight and unhealthy. Uh, I was on two blood pressure pills and my doctor actually prescribed double the recommended dosage on one of those pills. And there were various times that I had to get put on a cholesterol medication and then come off, come on, come off, come on. My A1C was getting close to type two diabetes. And, you know, I was just really dealing with a lot of health problems that a man in his mid thirties, early forties shouldn't have been dealing with. And that was going to cause problems down the road for myself, but more importantly, the people I love were gonna have to take care of me because I wasn't doing the things that I should have been doing to control my health. So in 2018, I wanna say maybe late 2017, I decided I was going to embark on a natural bodybuilding journey. And I had been taught, I've been thinking about it before. I had looked up natural bodybuilding in Cleveland, Ohio, and I saw that there were organizations that did it. And the catalyst that got the, or the, the spark that lit the fuse to finally do it was meeting a NP, an NPC promoter in Detroit who was an NPC promoter in Indianapolis of all things. And so here, it's kind of funny. Here's a Cleveland guy in Detroit running into an Indianapolis guy in Detroit. And that's what was the catalyst to start this whole journey. So embarking on this journey, 2019, I did my first competition with Natural Muscle Association's Reign of Fire. And you'll see in the picture that I'm gonna share right now, really wasn't in the best shape to be competing. And it was actually quite embarrassing. I shouldn't have done the contest. Um, I was really just wasting my time and my money. I came in last place and everything. What that said, I met some great folks and that really got the ball rolling to where I took this whole fitness thing a lot more seriously. And in so doing, um, I've gotten myself in the shape I needed to be in. All the health problems I had are gone. And now as a competitor, I can hold my own and in some cases actually win first place or in one case, get my pro card. So that's pretty cool. What have I learned uh, in this journey? And what kind of things have I gained out of it? Well, the first thing I learned is results don't happen by accident. If you're trying to embark on a fitness journey, regardless of the reasons why or the goal why as to why you're doing it, what you want to accomplish isn't going to happen by accident. You're going to have to put in the work. The work can and will be difficult at times. There's going to be times when you do not want to do it but you have to show up for yourself because the probably one of the most frustrating things in a fitness journey isn't so much the hard work and the length of time that it takes. It's starting over because you stop. So that's the first lesson. Results don't happen by accident and you got to show up for yourself even when you don't want to. Okay. Next thing I learned is you have to be patient with the results, but you have to be impatient with yourself. I'm stealing that quote a little bit from a man by the name Evan Carmichael in his book, Momentum. Now, Evan Carmichael, while you know he's in shape, his, his thing isn't about bodybuilding. He's got a whole different thing, but you have to be, it's the, same, it's the same thing no matter what. You have to be patient with the results, impatient with yourself. And what I mean by that is, if you're overweight right now, it didn't, that didn't happen overnight. That took some time. So getting in shape isn't gonna happen overnight. 
So relax, it's gonna happen, but you have to continually put in the work and you have to continually just be patient with the results, but hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable knowing that you went to go to work in the gym and in the kitchen and you put forth everything you had that day. If you can go to bed today proud of what you've tried of what you've accomplished, then great. If not, chalk it up. Get yourself squared away. Do it tomorrow. <sighs> I've also learned that every day that you're awake is another day towards working to be a better version of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. And any wasted day that you, any day you waste is a day that you're not thankful to your creator for the day he's given you. I'm aware that some days you might be sick, so maybe you can't do that. But if you're capable of getting some work done today, get that work done. What have I gained from this? Well, definitely gained a lot more energy to go about my day and push forward in, in my goals. Uh, recognizing that anything I want to do, if it's important to me, I have to put in the work. I have to go forward, get things done. And sometimes that means sacrificing things that I'd rather perhaps enjoy. Um, my Netflix account right now is basically just Netflix getting money from me for nothing because I don't have time for shows when I'm trying to uh, perhaps build a business or build a brand, build a community. So those things kind of go to the wayside. Other things that I've gained out of this uh an appreciation for life, an appreciation for my newfound health. As of the time of this recording, I'm just a couple of days away from 48 years old. My father had his first stroke at 48 years old. I don't, now if it happens, it happens, but I am not in the same position where he was at with my health to where I'm necessarily concerned about that. Um, also, other things that I've gained out of this is, as I said, uh, results don't happen by accident. And being patient with the results and impatient with myself. I know that I have to get a lot of work done for building the desire for Iron Fitness community. Uh, and that requires being on that website, being on uh, YouTube, being on Instagram, and growing and sharing with you, the people that I care about, the people I want to help. So, what can this do for you? Well, if you're trying to embark on a fitness journey, it's going to take time. You're going to have to hold yourself accountable. You're going to have to recognize that the work that you're doing today is going to make your tomorrow better. Sometimes you don't see it right at the moment and you won't, but you need to still continue to show up for yourself. You still need to continue to do the work. So that's where it, what it boils down to. And once you see those, the fruits of your labor uh, actually come to fruition, for lack of a better term, you're going to want to do it more so than just feel like you have to do it. You're going to want to get up a little bit earlier. You're going to want to eat that same meal that you've had four days in a row. Whether or not you want to compete as a, as a competitive bodybuilder, that, that's irrelevant, all right? Um, I encourage you to because it's fun, but it's, it's totally irrelevant. Uh, embracing the lifestyle of fitness bodybuilding, which is really all this boils down to, especially... Um, the amateur uh, natural, you know, ranks. It's really about overall health more so than it's just about, you know, how you look with your clothes on or off. Um, although getting fitter 
you're going to look better with your clothes on or off. It's just going to happen. But work hard. Recognize that it's not going to happen overnight. And trust me, when these things happen, the, all the other things that I'm talking about, having a higher zeal for life, chasing after other goals, chasing after other uh, dreams and passions, it just becomes a part of you. And you just get the work done. So, that I think is an important thing to talk about. You know, the, the, what I'm trying to tell you. The things I've gained from this journey are just things that I didn't even think were possible. And I, you, yourself, should have those same things. I'm going to leave a link in the description, a free ebook of what I found to be the recipe for success. I want to share that with you because I believe it'll help you. In fact, I know it'll help you. Also, I want you to check out this other video that'll be right here on the screen for you to watch to see more about what the community is about. And last but not least, check out Desire for Iron.com. Use Desire 10 at checkout, 10% off of the uh, services I provide. I love you. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day. I'll see you at the next video. Stay on the stage,